Hi guys, Gunting Pit, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, we're currently in the Snowvale Sanctum, and um, we've tagged along with Mercer Frey, the leader of the uh, Thieves Guild, to track down Carlia, um, who apparently killed the last uh, Thieves Guild leader, Gallum, and is now hell bent on bringing down the rest of the guild by the looks of it. So, yeah, let's uh, press on in and see how it goes. In the last episode as well, we also found a model boat, which I'll just show you that quickly because it's kind of funky, um, which is one of the special items uh, that you can hand into um, Delvin in the Thieves Guild, and it'll give you roughly about 800 gold for it. Um, where is it? Um, model ship. There you go. So, nothing special, just a typical Viking longboat kind of thing. Um, it's kind of cool. Ooh, ooh, whoa. Don't get up. Don't wake up. Continue your siesta. I said don't get up. Now, we've probably been the last episode fired around eight or nine arrows into Mercer right now. Hang on. Okay, um. Come on, questions are going on. Now Mercy is quite ha lucky in that the weapon that he's got, if you can see, is actually taking um, health from his victims, so... Oh man! <laughs> this is a good job though, <laughs> we keep hitting him in the back. Um, but there you go, oops, come on. Come on Mercy, you can do it. There you go. Was that like a planned duck, mate? Did you had it covered or what? What was going on there? He's such a dumbass. He looks I couldn't help it. <laughs> uh, can't resist that, sorry. Um, we're also picking up a heck of a lot of really good loot from these Draugas. Um, obviously in their former life they were quite rich people because they all seem to be packing um, ebony weapons, the majority of them. Ebony greatsword, which is brilliant. Um, I've also switched, uh, just if you can see on my back there, I've switched to the... Um, ancient Nord arrows, just because uh, they do less damage than the glass arrows that I've been using until now. Glass arrows do around 18 damage, um, but I just thought I might as well use them up because they're not really worth anything, and they do damage of 10, so I thought I might as well use them up basically. Um, so my bow's doing 378, actually, I could do a charge in it. Do I have any gems though? This is a question. So to charge a weapon, um, you just go onto it with the right bumper, on the Xbox at least, and then just use soul gems. Um, what the hell, here's a greater. He's empty, we're good. Okay, let's carry on. I <laughs> don't get up. Uh oh. Go, Mesa. Go do your thing. I think block my shot. Hardly a challenge. Where'd he come from? Mesa, he's right behind you. I'm trying to work out who's dumber, Mer Mercer, Farkas, or um, O'Neill from Alien Colonial Marines, <laughs> which if you see my playthrough, uh, you'll know was a pretty bad NPC as well, he's pretty stupid. Now we're getting weighted down now with all this good ebony stuff. So I think it's time to dump a few things, let's see. Not swords, uh, yeah, can all go. Anything ebony I'm keeping on to, I'll keep that bow. 
Do we pick up anything stupid? That can go. I'm gonna keep on to those just because they are heavy, but it's something that I can actually sell to a trader. Whereas the ebony stuff, um, it's quite pricey. So I'm not quite sure whether we'll be able to actually sell any of this stuff yet. Here we go again. The only thing that I definitely miss from uh, Skyrim that they had in Oblivion was the auto attempt option where you could basically, if you had enough lockpicks, you could keep spamming the try key rather than actually trying to pick the lock. Because sometimes you just can't be bothered, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and also it's quite difficult to remember where you've already tried but it's all right we'll get there in the end that's random this car line must be good because you managed to sneak through that without knocking down any of these vases uh, that's a chain oops unlike us you must have gone through it and stacked it all up again. Damn. And <laughs> the vases fell on the, the pressure plate there. So, good job on my red guard. Hey, <laughs> hey. That's kind of funny. So yeah, gotta be careful. never like the look of these passages, so from maybe those Indiana Jones kind of blade trap things. Whoop, crap. He's backing away. <laughs> Clever death lord. Oh, man, Mercer, you idiot. Why do you insist on always running into my shot? I'm amazed Mercer's not pissed at me, actually. <laughs> I think I must have hit him I don't know how many times. What'd you get? Have any battle axe? Thank you. Thank you for your contribution, sir. So, onwards we go. Hmm. Okay, who flamed that body? So far, so good. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? No, you don't have to come and play. You stay you there. can't hide from me. Okay. <laughs> Mess our debucking thing, that would be a good time. Have you seen that my arrows just kind of flop into the ground? That's weird. It does that sometimes, I'm not really sure why. Anyone else? Okay. Oh man. Well, where'd you come from? <laughs> Don't do that. I really don't want to leave that. That mini war hammer. Okay, let's see what we can ditch. I can hear a word wall as well. I got any apparel? Well, it looks like that steel armor. 
die. Word of power learned. Weapon disarm. Ah, oh, excellent. So it's basically the draw you use on me. Um, it's kind of a nice little spell. Can't play. Hello. Okay, we're using steel arrows now. Where's he going? <laughs> Where's he running off to? I mean, I don't blame him. I'd do the same thing, but. Where the heck is he going? See you then. <laughs> he obviously saw what happened to his buddies and thought, nah. Okay, well done, Mercer. But <laughs> that was kind of funny. I've never seen him do that before. Obviously, he came out of his tomb, thought, screw this, I'm off, and legged it. So, what have we got here? Ice and Chitin, that looks like a skill book. Excellent, light armour. We're now at 39. Oogie. Um, No traps. Okay, uh, gold necklace. Can I take those gauntlets? Yeah. Oh man, why does it keep giving me such good stuff? Overweight again. <laughs> so uh, those can go. Don't really want to ditch that. Okay, we're good. Um, onwards. Again, if you want to clear the next area, you can just close the chain, trap him in there and clear it out. But you might as well keep him with you. He's proving quite useful when he's not looking into my arrows. <laughs> hmm, this looks a bit too easy. Couple of bear traps. That's one. I mean, I can go over them; it's not a problem. But Mercer's a bit stupid, so he can actually get hurt by them. Hey, right, dude, how are we going to do this? We don't have a key. One of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint! Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it. We're on our own. Hmm. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain. Now let's huh. get moving. Excellent. Alrighty. Looks pretty safe. Oh, what the hell? Okay, what just happened? Huh, okay, we found Kalaya, but uh, what happened to us? Oh, I see people, but I can't move. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Oh, Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you hmm. expect him to simply ignore your methods? Okay, so it looks like my Enough suspicions were true. Enough of this banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. 
Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. I can still see him. So it's Mercer who double crossed uh, Gallus, not Kalaya. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. No way. But you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. What a bastard. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna so look forward to killing this guy. <laughs> um, I hope I'm not dead. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, now what? Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? <laughs> How am I feeling? Um, I feel like shit. No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It okay. slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Uh, she has a point there. Um, why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. Yeah, and no, I that feels. I made a decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Uh, that I am in your debt. More than you'll ever realise. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. Oops. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Uh, why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. And how are you going to prove it? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Okay, so what does it say? I wish I knew. Damn it. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. And um, could it be translated, maybe? Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. Okay. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Okay, there's that word Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. <laughs> what about we were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What are you gonna give me? Um, some crappy potions. Okay, so uh, why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Hmm. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Okay, uh, might not have a choice next time though. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Okay, and tell me about Gallus. He was a scholar, a master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales. And honed my skills to a razor sharp point. Honed the skills, eh? Hmm. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Okay, so he's honing all your skills, eh? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. I did kind of shoot him in the neck. <laughs> Can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. Hmm, I promise convenient. to join you there as soon as I can. Alright, fair enough. Well, I hope you guys um, 
do actually want me to go through all the options because um, what I do, I do playthroughs of everything anyway, um, practice runs before I actually record, so I do know what's going to happen. Uh, but I just think it's kind of interesting to see the the backstory for maybe those people who who you know aren't actually going to play Skyrim, um, but want to know what's going on. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you do like the. Trust no one else. Okay. Um, if you do want to see the whole conversations or if you want me to just skip them because obviously playing it's easier for me time wise to just skip through everything but um, you kind of sometimes lose what's going on so okay where am I going now okay so we're here and we're supposed to go over there and um, it's coming up we've just passed the 20 minute mark so I don't know whether it's probably I mean we could just fast travel that's the obvious way of doing things um, but it might actually be easier just to, to run along and just see if we can uncover maybe some locations while we're on our way. Uh, so that's what's coming up in the next episode. Uh, for now though I'm just going to quickly um, fast travel back to Honeyside um, because we're pretty much on the weight limit right now, 509 of 525. Um, I don't really want to go through the trading rigmarole right now because in Windhold there's not really that many traders anyway. Um, and I would like to continue on the Thieves Guild questline. Uh, we might as well see it through to the end now because we're quite close. Um, so yeah guys, that's the plan. I'm going to go to Honeyside, ditch the stuff. And I'll catch you at this exact same spot next time as we make our way on foot to Winterhold. Uh, for now though, as always, uh, thanks for watching guys. You know, your support has really, really been amazing. Uh, I can't believe how, how well my channel's done thanks to this one series and you guys um, along for the ride. And I'll catch you all next time. Thanks a lot and peace.